My name is Oliver Groff, and I will be talking about the importance of community for Filipino Americans. To fully understand the identity problem commonly experienced by Filipino Americans, it is important to know a brief overview of Filipino history. According to journalist Brennan Wise's article on the Philippines history, they were first settled, they were first settled by Spain in the early 16th century. Spain then ruled the Philippines for around 300 years, then the Philippines was sold to the United States after the Spanish-American War. The island country was invaded by Japan in World War II and became in an independent country when Japan was forced to leave after the war. Despite now being an independent country, the Philippines is still heavily influenced by the cultures of their former conquerors. Anthropologist Niels Mulder says that some examples of the Spanish impact are their food, religion, and language. When the Philippines was ruled by Spain, the Spanish brought Christianity along with them. This can currently be seen in Filipino culture because according to University of Northern Florida researcher, Teresa Poisson, Filipinos report that their cultural, that their Christian faith is a central part of their culture. Similar to religion, the Filipino language is very close to Spanish and many traditional dishes are also resembling of Spanish traditional dishes. The Spanish are not the only ones who have left a lasting impact on the Filipino culture. Filipino culture was also heavily influenced by the neighboring Asian countries. This is because during the Chinese spice trade, many customs were brought to the Philippines. One of these things is their culinary arts. Just like Spain, many Filipino dishes are very similar to Chinese traditional dishes. Another thing that can be related to Asian culture is the Filipino family structure. It is commonly compared to that of Asian culture because in Filipino culture, family life is at the center. Anthropologist Susan Rutland stated that in our current time, cultures are at very high risk of being lost. Another researcher, Rocco Simaruzzi, says that even though Filipinos are the fastest growing population in the United States, there, there are growing problems of cultural identity within the community. This is because, as stated by Filipino researcher Anthony Ocampo, Filipinos are, quote, kind of Asian and kind of Latino. He says that, the, he says that this causes them to feel out of place or like they don't know which culture they are because they're in between Latino, because they're in between Latino and Asian cultures. They can struggle to find a sense of belonging in both cultures, since their Asian cultural aspects differentiate them from the Latino culture, and their Latino cultural aspects differentiate them from that of Asian culture. So, what can be done to solve this? The first thing would be Filipino communities. Filipino icon, senator, and Hall of Fame, and Hall of Fame boxer, Manny Pacquiao, shows the importance of community for the Filipinos when he said, quote, all those who are around me are the bridge to my success, end quote. In these communities, Filipinos can learn more about their culture and come together to celebrate it as a, as a group. Quirico Pedregosa wrote that for children, the lesson most valued by Filipino culture is supporting those around them. In KU Laban researcher Jeremiah Reyes's study on Filipino culture, he concluded that the goal of their, their virtues is to have unity with each other. Reyes's analysis of Filipino virtues shows that Filipinos need each other because the central point of their virtues is being one with one another. Another researcher, Trixa Ko, performed a study in which she, in which she studied how Filipinos without family recovered from drug addiction. She wrote that Filipinos who didn't have family to help them with the addictions were able to recover through being surrounded by people who knew the, quote, Filipino way of coping. This relates to the problem with racial identity because it shows how important it is for Filipinos to have the support of their fellow Filipinos. Just like how, just like how the Estonians were able to, just like how the Estonians were able to maintain their heritage through community, so 
Filipino communities would help prevent the loss of their culture. Also, Filipinos would be surrounded with people like them, which would make it less likely for them to suppress their culture. Some could argue that being in communities built on the same culture eliminates the opportunity for people to act as individuals or keep them from exposure to other cultures because when you are in a group of people similar to you, there's a chance of missing the opportunity to see people with differing customs or ideas. The problem with this argument is that just because you are part of a community of people with similar traditions doesn't mean you can't also be in communities, other communities to gain exposure to differing ideals. The second change that would help with this cultural identity problem, as suggested by Laura Bofield, would be recognition as its own culture. Filipinos are technically Asian, but as previously stated, Filipino, is, Filipino culture is unique from this. If Filipinos were classified as their own race, Filipinos would not have to question their ethnicity. They would not have to wonder whether they are Asian or Latino. They would simply be able to say that they are Filipino and not have to pick between being Asian, Latino, or a combination of the two. Overall, Filipino Americans need to be in communities with other Filipinos in order to stay true to their roots. The, ritualist, the ritualistic tinkering article heavily discussed the importance of the effects of being of being in cultural practices. The authors touch on why communities and customs are important, and this relates to the Filipino culture because often in because often in in heritage people do song and dance together. Similarly, the namesake showed how minorities or people from other countries can feel out of place or have problems with cultural identity while also touching on how being around people of similar culture can help alleviate these feelings. This relates to Filipino culture because they often struggle with identity problems just like Gogol. Through Gogol, the namesake shows that having nobody around you that embraces your culture can influence you to hide yours and feel ashamed of your background. Overall, Filipinos are at risk of losing their heritage and if something is not done soon, this unique culture could be lost. Okay, Oliver. So what evidence did you gather that you didn't include in your presentation and why did you choose not to include it? Some evidence that I gathered that I didn't end up using uh, was in my early research, I was researching just in general how communities can benefit cultural, uh, cultural groups and this, uh, some of it didn't get included. Like I had some studies about Native American culture and how they were able to preserve their culture through being colonized and I didn't end up using some of that because it made the it would have made the presentation too broad of a subject. Okay. And then um, how did you see how did you use the conclusions of other people that you researched to help your own research? So some some of the conclusions that helps I use the conclusions of some of the other people that I researched because when they were concluding that the Filipino culture was unique, it wasn't Asian and it wasn't Latino, that helped me to that helped me to realize that I need to research communities of Filipinos and why they need to be with each other because they're a unique culture. And that helped me get to my conclusion of them needing to be in community with each other. Okay. Thank you. Well, I think we have time for you before the bell.